Welcome final expense agents and brokers to the most popular audio training and podcast in the industry, The Lead Jerk Show, where we cut through the red tape and give you only the best in expert interviews. So strap in and grab a cold beverage and get ready to learn and earn. Now it's my pleasure to introduce you to the one and only Matt Lowry, also known as The Lead Jerk. Okay, everybody, we've got a really good interview coming up for you today. It's uh, Adam Barco with FEXQuotes.com. Adam has uh, kind of revolutionized the quoting industry for final expense agents. And uh, if you guys use this, uh, you can tell everybody that, you know, day-to-day usage, it's uh, kind of a go-to thing to have on your iPad or your iPhone or your smartphone or um, for the less uh, educated people, the Android. <laughs> so anyway, um, sit back, enjoy this uh, interview. It's a really good one. And remember to order the best final expense tell leads in the nation. Visit www.theleadjerk.com. Again, www.theleadjerk.com. All righty, so we're here with Adam Barco, and he is with fexquotes.com. And... Um, Adam, I want to say I uh, appreciate your time spending with us today to uh, get uh, you know some more information out there about your company and what you do. And if you could, if you could just give us maybe um, some contact information, maybe your website, phone number, email address, anything you want to put out there so people can contact you. And then maybe a, a little summary of exactly what you do with FEXQuotes.com. Right. Well, for, first off, you know, I, I really – you know, appreciate and I'm honored to uh, you know participate in these uh, you know podcasts that you're doing. Um, I'm Adam, and uh, I own fexquotes.com. Uh, I can be reached uh, at 800-878-0122, or just go to the website, and there's uh, all kinds of contact information. We're very accessible, so. Uh, it, Insofar as my background in the business and you know how how we got started with this thing, it's 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 pretty basic. Uh, my, my background, I've been in the business for 31 years, and I started with uh, a small mutual insurance company. Uh, you, you may have heard of them, MetLife. Uh, I uh, oh yeah, I I got rolling with them. Yeah, and uh, you know. Uh, it, it, it was an accident, uh, you know. And, 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 as most people, uh, you know, end up in this business, uh, it, it's it's never really by you know plan or design, you know. Unless, unless of course, you know, you're born into a, you know a family that owns an agency, and you're kind of predestined to take over the agency. But th- that wasn't my case. I, I I ended up at MetLife right, almost right out of college, and it it, it was totally unexpected. Uh, and I took that job only because I had to have a job. I was uh, you know, actually in law school at the time, and you know, not a lot of people know this about me. And uh, I'm almost uh, a little bit weirded out by put, you know putting this out there at this point. But uh, I, I was you know in law school, and I had to suddenly leave law school. And it, it had nothing to do with academics. It was a, it was a it was a personal situation. I was up in Massachusetts, and I'm from the Philadelphia area, so I come back to Philadelphia, and I started calling the law schools here in the area that I was previously accepted to. Now, unfortunately, I wasn't able to do anything for the upcoming semester. Um, I very quickly learned that a professional school it's by the year. You have to start in the fall. So right. Here I am, uh, wait, wait, waiting out the uh, the year, so to speak, or the rest of the year, figuring out um, what am I going to do. And uh, I started looking for a job, and uh, I'm finding you know the regular jobs, you know, you know, manual labor type stuff, you know, bossing tables, waiting tables, stuff like that. That that wasn't what I was. Anyway, one day I come home from my job search. And there's a phone message my mother had taken for me to, to call this fella, and he wanted to speak to me about a job. I said, hey, all right, fine, I'll give him a call. turns out it was the district manager for MetLife in my area, and he is re- he's recruiting. He's 
calling a list of recent college graduates, and he's putting the bite on me. He's recruiting me. And I'm, I'm listening to him, and it's, it, it's sounding pretty good. It's, uh, you know, it's a salary for six months, and then it's commissions, and there's benefits paid, and, um, you know, the, the, the world is my oyster, and uh, the unlimited income, and yada, yada, yada. And I'm like, well, I'm, wait a minute, this is, this could work. It kind of fits into my time, my time frame. So I go over, and I meet with him, and he, uh, he, hires me, you know, after the uh, thing, and I'm, I'm not telling him what my, I'm only going to be here for a few months. Uh, I, I kind of felt bad about it because he was a really nice guy, and it, they're, 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 you know, they seem to be, you know, pouring a lot into me, but, but it worked. So um, I did it, studied for the test. It was a, you know, it was a weekend, if that. I go in the, you know, the next week, Monday or Tuesday, pass the test, and here I am in, in the insurance business. And before you know it, I'm making some money at this thing. This was this, this 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 was pretty good stuff. I mean, real money. And I'm starting to think or rethink what my future is going to hold. Do I really want to go back to school at this at this point? Because I'm making some you know pretty good money. This is back in the '80s. I'm 22 right, years old, yeah. and I'm, I'm making a, I'm make, I'm making a real living here. And uh, with a, a short period of, you know, you know, after I'm, you know, in in the business and I'm rethinking it, I ended up meeting who, young lady who is now my wife, and uh, I don't have to tell you how that goes. Uh, uh, the right, right. <laughs> dreams and the uh, and the uh, you know the, you know the thought of you know becoming an attorney were uh, were, were were quickly brushed aside. So uh, I I I decided to stay in the insurance business until something better came along. Now, 30 years later, let me tell you, my friend, nothing better has come along. This is, this is a pretty good business. And I, I have a, you know, a, a pretty you know, long and you know, storied you know, career, 30 you know, years in the business. Um, you know, I, I pretty much have done it all. Uh, you know, I know that you know, we're, we're you know, concentrating here on final expense, and that's really what I'm doing mostly these days is the final expense and working with final expense agents. But um, I, my, I have a lot of experience in the business from you know, health insurance, disability insurance, property and casualty, auto, uh, you know, homeowners, commercial. So I, I've done it all. You know, I didn't really want to, you know, unless you want me to, to, to get involved in the entire 30-year biography. But it, it's really not important. But, you know, how, how did it evolve into final expense and the and, yeah and how, did, how did it evolve into the into the insurance support services yeah 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 well how it worked out was was this um i guess it was about five or six years ago um you know i'm i'm, I'm still working in in the business and uh, i was pretty much uh you know it, it, exclusively working uh life insurance and my uh, my thing, the way I position myself and I position my practice, um, has always been with life insurance. Hasn't been life insurance. I don't um, unless you know I'm, I'm asked directly what I do. Yeah, I'll tell you, I'm life insurance. But um, we all we all like to put fancy label labels to ourselves. Um, but and mine right. was and <laughs> asset asset and income protection. That's what I that's what I do. And it, yeah. Asset and income protection. What's that all about? Good. I'm glad you asked. Now I got you. And before you know it, we're we're talking about life insurance. Um, and through the and through the years, I, I wrote a lot of term life insurance. And mm-hmm. you got to remember, as you know, I'm dealing with through the years, my own. Um, Income, uh, not income, age bracket. Well, in, in your income own age bracket. Yeah, your own so I'm basically yeah. my Democrat, right? Exactly. Uh, the, the, my my clients were my peers, and right. we're starting to see that these you know term life insurance policies that I had sold back in the late '80s and '90s were starting to term out and mature. 
So that, that, that was one phenomena that I was experiencing. And then the other um, phenomena was, you know, in, in, in discussing new life insurance and increasing life insurance, that the, uh, the need for the, for the uh, large term policies, for, for a large part, weren't there. And the, the, I'm discovering what's old is new again. And what, and what do I mean by that? that? Here I am talking about, you know, small whole life policies, universal life policies, you know, under 100,000, under 50,000. Um, and and in, in a lot of cases, you know, even small burial policies, 10, 20, 25,000. And so I'm um, now working in the final expense space. Uh, didn't have a whole bunch of companies, maybe a handful of companies. And the one thing, as I'm working and getting more involved with the uh, the final expense world that I'm seeing, or actually not seeing, was a comparative rating uh, tool to have available. Because with the, with the term insurance, um, it's it's available. It's been out there with the property and casualty, the the auto and the homeowners and the health insurance. It's out there. The, the, the rating programs and comparative rating programs existed. I started looking for something with final expense. It didn't exist. It, it wasn't uh, it wasn't available. So what I did was I wrote it myself. I decided to do it myself. And it started out with just really putting the rates into uh, a simple spreadsheet, an Excel spreadsheet, and being able to then, you know, cal- calculate the rates. If you, if you know how to work a, you know, an Excel spreadsheet, you can, you can very quickly, you know, um, do calculations on the columns. So this was now, you know, my, my very crude comparative rater. Uh, I also had a lot of experience with, um, with, with, with websites. And I had, you know, I, I, I had websites that I, that I've always had a passion for computers and programming. Uh, and it goes back actually very early in my career with the, in the insurance business when the uh, insurance industry started introducing um, laptop computers to the uh, to the field force, and I, and I took to it like a fish to water. This was this, this and, I, and I never really had any formal training in in programming or computer or computer science or whatnot. But just you know, as an agent in the field, that was now introduced. You know, I'm, I'm going back, you know, about 25, 30 years ago when the uh, when the, the insurance industry was was was, was introducing you know um, computers, and the uh, uh, at MetLife the uh, you know the Raider. God, I don't. It was. It was it was just absolutely bananas how they had it. Yeah, done. pretty pretty it crude. Yeah, all these diskettes, uh, very very crude. And uh, you know, I, I, but but I I started hacking away at it and figuring it out. Um, you know, and, and it became you know, I, I, it's, it's a, it was a self taught um, you know process, and it became a passion with me. And so I had the ability, had some you know some website experience. And whatnot. So, um, on some web space, I took the, I took the spreadsheet and I converted it to what what's known as a CGI program. It stands for Common Gateway Interface. Basically, you can, you can access your spreadsheet, so to speak, um, on o, o, over over the internet. And this 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 was really cool because um, now um, you know out in the field, so so to speak. And if I was able to you know to tap into a, you know, a, you know, a wireless network. I'm, I'm able to access, access my rates, and it, it wasn't ideal, but it, it worked. But for the most part, I was I was really doing it at home, and I showed I showed it to a couple of other agents, and they flipped out on. They go, "Wow, um, can I, can I? Yeah, you can access it. No no pro- problem." And I said, so they, they their access is well. You know what? This is great, but uh, can you uh, can you add more companies to this thing? Because you know. Uh, you know, I, I work with the uh, United Home Life. Can you can you add United Home Life? Uh, yeah, if you, if you show me the rates, or can get me the rates. So, uh, so we so now we're adding you know United Home Life, and now we're adding Trans America too. Before you know it, I got a few a few guys using this thing, and it's it's a handful of companies, and then uh, I realized you know what I think I might be on to something here. So, uh, I, I I took a took a risk and. Uh, Invested a lot of capital and built FEX quotes to what you 
see today. And that's that, 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 that's the really, you know, the, the, the short that's story here. Uh, well, let me uh, ask you, Adam, what, what do you think was your biggest hurdle to overcome while you were actually, you know, developing what we see today as, as pretty much, and I know it evolved and things changed, but kind of what we see is the uh, finished product now. What was your biggest hurdle to overcome while developing developing the uh, the product? Time, time, because um, uh, I didn't know what was what was happening in the marketplace. Meaning, what, 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 was there another comparative quota? being developed that I didn't know about because I knew that other companies had comparative quotas. And I, and I have seen and watched the, the progression and the growth and the maturity of these other products. And I knew that final expense was starting to uh, explode, so to speak, uh, in, in terms of, you know, uh, a re- rediscovery of you know what is old is new again, and would these other companies, would, is, would somebody else, is somebody else working on this, and develop and developing this? So my my biggest um, hurdle was was the time factor, uh, you know, and and getting and getting the rates. Uh, you know, fr- from all, all of these different companies and the and the and the co- and the cooperation, um, you know, of of the different companies and IMOs. So, it, 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 for me per- personally, it was a, it was it was a race against time. I guess maybe, maybe, I don't know. Maybe it was just a self-imposed, uh, you know, hurdle or obstacle. Because I, I've always been a you know. A, 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 I get it done type of guy. You know, I see something, I want something, I do it. Uh, it I, I, I don't hesitate. I, I make a decision, I move, and, and I do it. Uh, and, and, and here I am. I have the decision, and, I, and, I, and, I, and I've made the capital commitment to it, and it's not going as fast as I would like it to. So, so really, the time was, was the hurdle. Uh, right. uh, I, I wanted, I I wanted to... to uh, yeah, the old, uh, you know, um, you know, uh, you know, one, you know, one of, uh, to, to steal a phrase from one of my, uh, you know, favorite comedians. I, I wanted to get her done, and and I wasn't right. able to, <laughs> to to get it done as, as fast as I would like to. So it was that was I would say that was be the biggest hurdle, if you will, was was, was the, the time factor. I wanted to get it right. get it done. I think definitely was comparing in, it to yeah. other. So definitely compared to other quarters, I've looked at other quarters, and I mean yours is by far the smoothest, and uh, as far as I can tell, most up to date, and and it's 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 a great value. Um, what what uh what marketing methods have you employed, Adam? I mean, I I would assume I think we you know you mentioned before, really you don't have to do any 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 marketing. I mean, it's all word of mouth because you run a really really tight. Yeah, shift, it's you know? uh, yeah, it's it's. I mean, Really, there, there, there's been no marketing of it. it. It's it's been word of mouth. Uh, I have I, I haven't marketed it. I haven't um, you know advertised it. it it's just uh, it just grows by itself. And you know, thank God, I've been very very blessed and very fortunate that you know it was it, it's able to get to 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 where it's at now. And in speaking to other people in the industry. Uh, I'm coming to learn that I've only scratched the surface, so uh, it's uh, it's interesting. Uh, I'm not at all, uh, you know, interested in, in in mass marketing this and make and make. It, yeah, it's a commercial product, absolutely, and it's it's uh, it, we're, it it's become a small company, and I'm not looking to you know um, you know hire dozens or hundreds of people. I'm, I'm, I'm happy where it's at um, in terms of you know size. It's manageable, uh, and you know to invest uh, you know money in you know advertising and um, you know marketing. That, that's not where I want to go. In fact, you know I, I was talking to uh, uh, a competitor in this business, a friendly competitor, and we, we, we both, there's a lot of commonality in in in, in, in what we do. A lot of common ground, so to speak, and we were talking because we both have had people interested, and I've been approached a number of times by uh, organizations that would like to invest in FEX quotes, um, 
and which is interesting and it's flattering. But if but it's but it's your baby, million it's your dollars. Baby. <laughs> yeah, it's my baby. That's right. But and yeah. you, if you gave if, if Matt, if you gave me a million dollars, you know what? I, I just won the lottery. And I tell you what, I, I just want to give you a million dollars. But, but the, the catch is that you you got to invest it in FEX quotes. I, I, I wouldn't know what to do with that money. Right, I, right. I, what, what, am, what am I going to what, what am I going to invest in? It's 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 where I want it to be. I mean, it's it's not where I want it to be in terms of okay, that's it. We have all the agents that we can handle, and that's it. We're not going to add any any more agents. Subscriptions are closed. It's a limited. Now, that's not what I mean. Um, it, it's where I want it to be in terms of size and manageability. Um, all all systems. Uh, our, our go it, it, it's 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 working well with what wh- where it's where it's at now it's again it, it, it's a it's a small company but it's but a huge presence um, I've invested a ton in infrastructure and uh, my, when I talk about infrastructure I'm talking about servers Th- that which y- y- the, the people that use it don't see it the, the, the behind the scenes stuff so to speak so um, the you know the the infrastructure is there and uh, the, the, all the systems are there um, you know adding a new company uh, you know if a new company hits the marketplace and you get me the rates I'll have I'll have the program up in the system in about 15 minutes so I, everything has been designed and it's it's, it's there it, uh, yeah there's improvements to be made and there's the uh, you know uh, you know you know and enhancements new technologies come along in and we tweak but in in terms of what it can do what it's what it, what what the functionality is it, it's there uh, uh, and it, I, I don't need more staff um, and, right you know it, 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 I, you know, making this, you know, investing tons of money into this thing at this point is it, counterproductive. It, it, um, I don't know. I, like I said I wouldn't. I wouldn't know what to do with it. It's, it's good. Uh, I, I, li- I like it where it's at, and I want to continue to grow it. And I'm just happy that it's able to, you know, to grow by word of mouth. And that's sure, that's, sure. Let me ask you. Uh, yeah. I know there's. I've, I've, I've had this question too, and, and pondered it before. Talking to people, that do as far as the criteria for being on FEXQuotes.com um, as a carrier, do you list every carrier in the final expense arena? I know there's other ones on there, obviously other categories, but specifically in the final expense category, do you list all carriers that offer final expense products, or are there just like certain carriers that that aren't listed on there for, for whatever reason? Um, I didn't know if there were some that were on there, some that aren't, or you know because you know, some of these companies jerk around their rates like I change socks. So I don't even know if anybody wants that on there anyway. <laughs> well, actually, you know, in, in in the final expense space, Matt, the uh, the the rates are pretty um, stable. The, uh, the 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 companies really don't change the rates that frequently. Um, now they will change underwriting, and they will. Change yeah, yeah. the uh, you know the programs. They might might pull a particular program out, but uh, the, the 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 market is fairly stable. I mean, what so the I mean we, we've seen you know in, in the few short years you know, that I've been working with FEX quotes and say in the past five years I've seen a lot of companies um, go they uh, for for whatever reason whether it was in right. Corporate acquisition and the final expense just did not fit the portfolio, um, or it was a profitability. Who, who knows? Uh, you know, look, it, was, it was just a few weeks ago. It was over the summer. Um, what uh, what was the company? Uh, Madison. Well, I know Madison just kind of Madison National. Yeah. 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 Exactly. That's a great example. Um, Madison yeah. National. Hey, that's what I meant. Yeah, they they come and go. I remember. Yeah. Yeah. 
Yeah, I mean, one day there, 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 are, um, you know, all, all kinds of new marketing literature and updated agent guides and, and whatnot, and say, like, hey, it looks like, hey, they're, um, you know, they're committed. Um, less than a week later, surprise, um, starting tomorrow, no more applications. I mean, maybe a little bit of an overstatement there, but you know, so you see, so you, you, know, you, you see that. But, but to answer your question. Um, you know any company that's you know actively in the final expense space that works with independent agents i believe we have them all and if we don't and i've said this a thousand times we'll add them uh just put us in touch where where we can get the rates and as as long as we can get the rates the state approval and um underwriting Information we can have them in the system in, ver- in very short order. Uh, and th- there's really only one company that has given us any kind of pushback on you know being listed in there and they're not in in in, in there. Uh, and I'll, I'll leave it at that. I, um, just uh, yeah, I think we all know who listed you're in the comparative about. radar. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. yeah. The, the, the market, they're kind of, they're kind of. Their, yeah. their marketing is not consistent <laughs> with. Yeah. All right. Well. Yeah. But we'll, we'll, we'll change the topic. What do you like on your pizza, Matt? Yes. Yes. Exactly. So, yeah. you know, as far as uh, you know, subscription packages go, that's that's something I think will be really interesting to talk about. What. What kind of subscription packages are offered, Adam, as far as, you know, um, what's available to a, an agency on an IMO or an independent producer? What's, what's out there with FTXQuotes.com for, for those guys? Right. No, the, well, yeah, yeah, FEX Quotes is, is based, is based um, you know, on the subscription model. Uh, it's... Uh, it's very affordable, again, and, and, and the reason it's affordable and when you compare it to these other quote engines is because, uh, A, FEX Quotes has no debt. Everything is paid for, and the, the, over, or the, the ongoing overhead, while it's expensive, th- doesn't require a large capital investment or an ongoing subscription cost to, you know, to, to the subscriber base, um, you know, we, we, we can do it for twenty-five bucks a month, and that's the cost. That's that. That's there, there's no hidden fees. Uh, there's there's no long-term contracts. You can pay annually. You can pay monthly. Um, a, a, a lot of our subscribers just go month to month. You can you can cancel it at any time. Um, but we we have that base rate. There is an upgrade path. You know, should you know? Should you decide to uh, uh, you know, l- look at getting more out of FEX quotes than just being able to uh, you know you know run the rates uh, and, and 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 see the rates? Uh, the, the 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 one question that I deal with uh, pretty much on a daily basis because is what or, or I should say question, but it, it becomes a question. The concept that, uh, that I need to explain because most people, when they see FEX quotes, they're seeing it. They're seeing the front end of it. They're seeing it on a website, whether it's you know an agent's website or it's a you know um, an IMO website. They're seeing when they're seeing FEX quotes, they're they're seeing one element of it, and that's the uh, what we call the plug-in. If you have a website, we give you um, again. It's included with the. Uh, Twenty-five dollar a month subscription, the ability to put a quote engine on your website. Now, a lot of folks think that that quote engine on the website is FEX quotes, and to a degree, to a large degree, it is. But there's a lot more to FEX quotes, and that's our back office. In order to administer what you see on 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 your website, you have to log into the back office. Our back office there is. Um, the equivalent of the you would in, you would install software. There's nothing to install. It's all um, it's all cloud based. A lot a lot of these a lot of CRM systems that you see today. E- e- even Microsoft 
is going to a to a, um, a hybrid where it's cloud based, and and you still have to install it on your server, on on your on your local computer. But the the back office is really the heartbeat of of FEX quotes, and there's a lot more to FEX quotes, the, the quote engine that what a lot of folks see on the on the web, whether it's you know on another agent's website or their IMO's website, because we have the ability to g generate spreadsheets and generate custom um, printouts uh, f for customers, and you can save the quote, you can email the quote out to to, to somebody that you're on the f the phone with. In fact, you can now you can even text the quote. That's pretty cool. Uh, uh, the and the ability to um, um, install it on your phone. A lot of agents are out in the field and they want to be able to work up quotes while they're sitting at the kitchen table. So uh, everybody's got a smartphone these days, whether it's, you know, a Windows phone, Android, Apple. So the ability so that we have the ability to you know run this thing um, you know you know from your smart from your smartphone. Uh, yeah and, and not to cut you off Adam, but I've I've, uh, I've seen that I've seen that done several times. And for anybody that's not familiar with it, quotes dot com is listening to this, what you just said is like really, really, really powerful to be able to do and it will lighten your uh, briefcase. <laughs> oh yeah. Yeah. I mean and there's there's other we've got other tools back there. You know, I, I wasn't even prepared to even you know, I, I I forgot that we even have these things. Um and it, it, um, that's, that's helpful in, in the field. You know, you're sitting at the table with with, with a client now. Um, you know, when you're working the final expense space in the final expense world, you very quickly become an expert pharmacist, <laughs> uh, especially with, with 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 you know with with, with the with the senior meds. But occasionally, right. somebody's going to throw something out at you. Is, okay, um, and again, when you're when you're dealing in the final ex expense world, you know you'll get you'll get blindsided with a you know with a, with a medication, um, and a lot of a lot of cases, uh, it's sad but it's true. The, the people taking the medication don't know why they're taking the medication. Um, so, uh, we have um, a, medi a a pharmacy database, so you can very quickly look look up. Um, a, a drug or a medication, and get a layman's explanation as to what what it's for and what it's used for. We have um, a database again in the, in the final expense world. Not so much. You don't uh, many of these apps. You don't. There's no APSs involved. They're all they're all simplified issue policies. But some of these companies do require you to um, provide you know a physician's. You know, n you know, name and address. Not not too many of them, but it, but in the case that we have them, we, well, that brings me to another point, and we'll touch that on in a minute. Is that if you need to access a, um, you know, or be able to, uh, you know, get a physician's correct, na you know, name, address, and phone number, we have that we have that database built right into mm -hmm. right into FEX quotes. Um, yeah, it's, um, that prescription or somebody, module is powerful. Yeah, yeah. That prescription module is really, really nice. Yeah, yeah, it's uh, it's 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 helpful. It it really is, especially um, uh, with um, you know, the difference, you know, between the you know the generic name um, and the and and the brand name. But yeah, it's, it's it's definitely it's definitely a neat little bit. You know what? It's one of those things that you, you don't realize how how neat it is until until you need it. But again, you're not you're not going to use it on a daily basis. But it's nice to have it, and and it, and it's right there. And we and and the same thing with you know with medical conditions. You know, sometimes you get blindsided. You know, with um, you know a medical condition, somebody uh, will you know indicate this, you know I have uh, oh yeah I had a, a, a bout of transverse myelitis seven years ago. Um, what? Okay. Uh, well, I don't know. It, it has something to do with my nerves. Okay. Uh, well, y y y if you want to get some clarity on this thing, you, you, you know, you, you just you know type it in, or j just a partial, you know, sp you know spelling of it, even if they don't know how to spell it, and it'll it'll give you um, you know a breakdown on on, on what a particular a particular uh, you know condition is, and then a lot of times what medications are associated with it. So it's it's nice for the field underwriting. So those are other tools. 
no, we have an FEX quotes, but it's not just a, 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 a web quoter, you know, on your on your website. There's the, there's the the back office, so you know, so to speak, and uh, and, and a lot of times, you know, uh, people. When when they become a subscriber, they get blown away by the number of companies and programs because well they'll discover it, they'll see it like on another agent's website, or they'll see it on their you know their IMO's website, and and then they might only be seeing you know you know three four five six seven eight companies, but when they get when they get into it, they go wow, they didn't realize that the you know that the final expense world was so so big. So I mean that goes to answer your question: Do, do we have all of the companies, or, or are there any that are that are not in there? I'd be I'd be shocked. I'd really at the at this stage of the game, I'd be surprised if there was some in there that we didn't have. Um, and now the, we have been approached to add you know um, companies, but if you know if it's for like a very you know if it's a small regional company that's you know only in you know maybe you know two you know two states where they are very restrictive on the writing where they're calling it uh, final expense and it's not really final expense and it they say simplified issue um, and there's nothing simple about it we won't put it in there but but those are few and far between I got to believe that every company that is a player in the final expense simplified issue um, world is, is is in our database. I said, and, and if we're missing one, and I, I'd be like I said, I'd be shocked if we if we are. Let us know. We'll I mean, we'll, we'll have them in the system in, in about ten fifteen minutes. So, that's it. Oh <clears throat> well, look. Um, I guess if we we probably wind it down, and 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 you know, I think that's a lot of great information you put out there for people um, to take a look at. If you could. If you give us your website again, and uh, if there's anything on there, a certain part you think would be pretty interesting to people listening that want to go to your website and check it out, um, go ahead and throw it out there, Adam. Yeah, I mean, uh, 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 it's you know, we, you know, we, have a, you know we, we have a free trial if you if you want to if you want to tr- try it out um, it, you know it, it, you know doesn't cost anything you, you, you get a 10, 10 day free trial run it through its paces to be an expert you know on the system in in, in about an hour um, and yeah see, see if it works for you um, the, 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 I this is what I tell agents that that are inquiring or not sure they're on the fence with it if you're selling final expense insurance Simplified issue, whole life insurance. If the companies in our system are the companies that you're contracted with, and you're and you're writing this, uh, you need this. Um, it's it, and, I, and, I, and I'm not saying to you know be like a salesman or to push it. Yeah, you need this. I, I'm talking. Yeah, I'm talking as as a user of the system. Um, I mean, I, it, it's helpful. I, it, it's it's that simple. It's um, you know it's it's not. Uh, it's not rocket science, and it's just, it's it, it, it's basically it's you know I, I tell guys it's a, it's a small investment in their business. It's really, really lucky you're spending money on leads, you're spending money on gas, you're spending money on hotel rooms, hotel rooms. You know you know if you're working out of the area, so this is just you know another you know thing that you know becomes an arsenal, and it's it, it's a helpful tool. Uh, it's that's what it is. It's just a, a tool to help you sell. More. I agree, and it's one that final, uh, final they get they get yeah, a they get a ton of uh, they get a lot of bang for their buck. So, all righty, well, I think Adam, so. I, I think so. You know, I, uh, go ahead. Yeah, no, I was going to say, you know, it's, it's it's you. I don't know if you remember Matt back in the. Uh, uh, yeah, I think the nineties. You know, the, you know the hair club for men. You know, not only am I a, a member of the hair club for men, you know, or the owner, I'm I'm a member. Yeah, you know, yeah. You know. Right. And, and, and I and, and I say that with with you know with sincerity. You know, I get you know, you know. Truth be told, I'm not writing as as much business that I that I'd like to these days. I just the time, mm-hmm. to, you know, doesn't allow for it. But um, you know. I, I I use it. I use it. It's 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 part right. it's, it's 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 part of my world. It's yeah. It's it's and I'm so I, sometimes I'm imp- 
I'm impressed w- with what my programmers have done with this thing. I was like, wow. <laughs> you know, I've designed it. I've suggested it. I've made a lot of, you know, because it's all, it's all about the agent. You know, it, we're, it, we, we're not, it, it's not a bunch of, you know, actuaries and programmers thinking what agents need. Uh, it's all input from the agents and, and people that are using it, myself included. So it, 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 it works. It works great. And it's it, uh, good stuff. Anyway, I, I'll I'll step off off of this. I, you know, I, I appreciate <laughs> no the opportunity problem. to you know introduce yeah, you, man, I know. educate people. No, but I, 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 it's all good stuff. Uh, look, you know what? At the end of the day, um, it's it's FEX quotes is not going to you know our rating system is not going to make you a million dollars. It's not going to set your appointments. It's not going to make the phone calls for you. It's not going to it's not going to drop the direct mail for you. It's not going to get um, you know traffic to your website. Uh, it, there's no substitute for uh, working. You know, yeah, yeah. It's it just it's just a tool. Uh, there, there, there's no easy button in this business. There's no magic cure that's going to solve your you know your problems the 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 one thing you know i would tell any agent is just see the people um that's that's it just it's it's about talking to people walk and talk uh you know the harder you work the luckier you get um and 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 that's that's the life insurance business in in a nutshell uh am i you know, fortunate and blessed that I've created a tool to help agents, to, you know, make money and keep money. Yeah, and that's uh, uh, and that's nice. But at the, like I said, at the end of the day, it's all about you know, going go to work, talk, make making those phone calls, knocking on those doors, and you know, just just put just putting yourself out there. And, and we're just you know, we just offer a small we're a small cog. In the big wheel, just a small tool that you know to help help get the job done. So that's, that's it. Here you go. Well, Adam, I, I couldn't have said it better myself. Um, and look, I really uh, appreciate your time today. I know you're on a tight schedule, uh, especially being on a, a Friday. <laughs> um, and you know, again, for everybody listening, it's fexquotes.com. Again, fexquotes.com. And you guys go and check it out. Um, I know a lot of you listening to this are probably already subscribers. There's a lot of you that aren't. So I would suggest go take a look at it and uh, see what you think. So with that being said, Adam, um, parting thoughts, I I appreciate you being on here, and I I appreciate what you do for uh, the industry and um, having, having, you know, that that quarter built and all the other great things that come with it that that if you get in there and play around with it, you can find. So, yeah. Again, thanks, and uh, you know, if uh, if uh, you need anything, reach out to me, and I'm, I'm sure we'll talk here uh, soon uh, later. Yeah, uh, no, no, no worries, no problem, and, and thank you. I really appreciate the opportunity to uh, uh, you, know, you know help you out, and and more, and, and you're definitely help, you know you know helping me out by you know a little more expo- a little more exposure with FEX quotes, and it's all it, it's all good. And if anybody want, anybody wants to give me a a call. Um, it, it doesn't have to be about software or FEX quotes or rating. I'm I'm available. I, I love to talk. Um, uh, you know, thank you for keeping me on a leash here because un- <laughs> and, and keeping me on track because unrestricted. I, I would talk your ear off. That's because that, that's what I do. I walk and talk. <laughs> and you know what I. I've happened to have sold a lot of life insurance through the years by by, by that, but no, it's all it's all good. Thank thank you. I really really you mean that. I appreciate it. So, yeah, you got yeah. You got it's, your, it's, I love it's the time to bounce. I yeah, a lot. it's, it's I Friday. I'm I, I'm I'm out of here. All righty. All right, bud. I'll talk to you soon, Adam. Thank you, sir. Okay, I'll talk to you. All, all right. right. Bye. Alrighty guys, well another great interview brought to you free of charge from me, the bringer of light. Yes, the lead jerk. So I appreciate all you guys listening. If uh, you need anything, contact me. Make sure to visit our website for the best final expense leads in the country, www.theleadjerk.com. Again, www.theleadjerk.com.